Hey, yo, what's up, guys? So as seen in my thumbnail and what's behind me, I've I've got a new guitar. Um, so in this video, I'll show how it looks, the part, some of the parts, and um, how it sounds. So let's get right into it. <laughs> Just name the specs. Um, it has a six-pin floating bridge. Um, uh, it's an HSS configuration, five-way five switch. Then almost gold har hardware, gold vintage style tuners. Um, 22, 22 frets. Um, what else? Uh, maple maple neck. I think it's an other body. Then, yeah, just simple stuff. Um, as you can see from my two guitars, it has white gold hardware. Um, the other one is just black and gold. Then my strat is a white and gold. Um, so, you'll s maybe you'll see more like chill vibe covers with me using my new guitar uh, I might actually post a cover after this video so just wait for it uh, I'll put the link of the tabs where I learned the song in the description in the next video or in the cover so um, since the video is short I'll just do a quick studio tour again <laughs> since the room has been changing a lot since the last time uh, except for my recording equipment it hasn't changed so I'll go ahead and show you guys so once you enter the room it's still the same layout but I changed the desk um, this part is was used to be in the my left side but i placed it back so that i could use this in the future uh, my laptop is there um, another new thing is the led rgb lights she is scattered around the room then there's a few things uh, this is a workbench in case I need to fix my guitars then my the cameras I use uh, the two new guitars oh the new guitar and my old one um, the acoustic guitar is in my room then my amp with my condenser mic and my stand um, just some storage and it's a bit cleaner now so I'll show you my recording so here's the cable that goes straight to the guitars then go straight to the amp then my condenser mic then the XLR cables to a phantom power wait I'll switch it off phantom power then it would go here to my USB sound card uh, I'm planning to change to an interface then 
go straight to my laptop, then here to my workstation. Then here in my workstation, um, I have like presets like vocals, guitars, uh, pedal board here. This is what I use for my clean or a uh, clean like just ambient or chill sounds. Echo in a chorus. Um, actually, I use a chorus in all my, even in my distorted tone. I have. There, so let's go back. So there, um, the room got like a bit bigger or wider because I've been cleaning it a lot and fixing the items for making storage space. Then, um, I'm actually start starting on my effects since. I don't have physical effects or like the analog stop box effects. Um, I'm planning to go for individual effects because um, I'm not a fan of multi effects. Uh, I just don't know why I don't like them that much. But I've been able to like experiment with different effects from like apps and I think I would be more comfortable with the single pedals. So, um, I'm planning to build a pedal board that could act that could almost play uh, the genre all of the genres I play from like indie to rock um, to so there's a lot, um, but I won't say the rest. Um, I also try to learn some jazz hop songs or neo soul. Then I guess that's it for this vlog or video for about the guitar. Uh, just wait for the next cover. Uh, it would be a uh, Matias Asato cover, which is good for this. Because the one I'm covering is Don't Dream It's Over by Matias Asato, which is he uses a strap. So I actually learned it first with my Les Paul, but I end up having the strap, so I use the strap. So see you in the next video. Um, thanks for watching. <laughs>